Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and we are here in our jungle zoo where we are looking at all of our pandas. Look at all the happy- oh you can hear people taking pictures. Are you guys enjoying- oh look at this little kid. Hi. Are you so excited to be so close to a panda? I would be so excited to be so close to a panda too. Look at how cute it is. Look at how cute it is. We have so many pandas. It has been a little while since I've come back to check out like our pandas because we've been so busy working over on the Tapir exhibit and working on like the aviary. Oh, and look at that panda poop. Uh, I wonder if that sells on like some market for a lot of money. Who knows? But yeah, I have not had a chance to come back and just see how the little pandas are doing. And it seems like, yeah, little ear scratches. Seems like everybody is doing okay. And I still need to go through everybody's names for these guys and kind of rename a few of them. And I was actually looking at it and we're running a little bit low on our funds lately. And that makes me think about how we need to start getting some animals like having babies that we can sell to other zoos so we can earn more money. And I thought, oh, well, we have pandas. But the truth is these guys like really... They're not the fastest breeders, and usually by the time they have one baby, they pass away. So they're actually one of our most expensive expenses in the whole zoo because, oh, but when they have their little belly like that, look at him! Look at him be so cute! They're all just rolling around. Are you a happy panda? Oh dear, and there's, there's some more poop over here, so we'll just clean that up. And he's barking. Are you a little baby? Are you barking for, like, your mom? Is that where you're doing Giant Panda 13? Oh, he's playing chase with Giant Panda 10. Oh, that's adorable. And, oh, and Giant Panda 12 is going to give birth. Whoa, and somehow I got a bird statue tree. Oh, my goodness. That was surprising. All right. So we're going to have a baby panda be born, you guys. Oh, I guess we're being stealthy about it. All right. All right. There's a baby panda right here being absolutely so cute, eating its little pile of bamboo. And it looks like Panda 12 over here is totally ready to climb over into like the bushes over here and have a baby. So we're going to keep an eye on her. Now, fun fact, just in case some of you guys don't know this, when they have babies, they do not come out like fully furred and really big the way that they have babies in Zuhai Kun 2. There you are, like this, all oh, little babies, in the, like baby in the flowers. Oh, little panda baby in the flowers. Look at you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, look at you. Okay, I'm going to have to like name this one Floral or something. Let's name her um, Orchid. Because she actually was born in a big pile of orchids. So this is going to be Orchid. And I just realized I hope Orchid's a girl. Orchid's a girl. Woo. <laughs> So this is the birth of Orchid, the big, like, the, the giant panda. I almost said big panda because we also have red pandas. Oh no, and Panther Chameleon 8 has just died of old age. Well, I think that was our cranky old man panther, so maybe, maybe it was indeed time. Oh, look at this. No, where are you going, mom? Where are you going? You were supposed to, you were supposed to nurse the baby. Where's baby going? Orchid, where are you headed off to? Are you playing chase with the, the other baby panda? Oh, running from Giant Panda 14. Giant Panda 14. Are you picking on the other baby? Going to investigate the large ground nest. Are you? Yeah, it's a female. I'm going to name you. Let's name you. Um, I almost want to say Jackal because she was so much more aggressive. But let's see. How about what's like more Iris? So we have Orchid and Iris over here. And we'll have to see how the relationship between these two develops over time. Oh, I love the pandas. I really love giving them names and I love diving in and just kind of like peeking on how they're doing. And I love their exhibit because it's so pretty with these gorgeous cherry blossom trees. Oh, we're making a little bit of money. Go, Zoo, go. Yay. All right. But let's see. We also should have had, um, you know what? We could probably adopt out at least half of the orangutans and not only make some money, but make them happier by shrinking their family sizes. I, I wonder, I'm not sure what size orangutan groups normally are in the wild. Does our zookeeper- Oh, we have a pregnant orangutan over here. I wonder if uh, the Zoopedia topic will tell me about that. So let's check that really quickly. Highly intelligent observers, they have been known to watch humans untie a boat and use it road across the river then repeat the behavior themselves what orangutans using boats i know that they're super super intelligent but i didn't know they were intelligent enough to like repeat behavior of a human using a boat that is really cool all right let's see 
Half of the orangutan's diet consists of fruit, but these animals also eat young leaves, soft inner bark, termites, eggs, and occasionally monkeys. Orangutans accumulate fat in winter to prepare for the monsoon season in April through October, when food is scarce. Oh, here we go. Orangutans are usually solitary creatures. Except when mating, adults usually travel and forage for food independently. When a female is ready to mate, she will seek out an adult male. The pair will stay together for several days until the female is pregnant, then resume their solitary ways. All right, so it sounds like the best thing to do is definitely ease up the orangutan family here, and that'll probably give us a little bit more money, but we'll do that in just a second because I want to check over. Oh, who can't reach bamboo? Why? Why is this bamboo empty? Why does no one ever take care of my little red pandas? I ask you. No one's ever taking care of my red pandas, I swear. We have to come in here. There we go. Big old pile of bamboo for them now. My poor little red pandas. All right. Everybody good? Everybody good? I guess we're just checking in on the pandas today. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> it's a tiny little Chinese orchid. What? I don't remember putting you here. Look at you. Look at you, you tiny little thing just growing down here. And there's a bunch of panda toys up here. Grooming the little red panda. <gasps> the Tiberia is pregnant! That is what I wanted! That was actually one of my huge goals for the day because I was going to share a really adorable picture with you guys. And the Chinese soft shell turtle, don't worry about them saying they have no room to lay eggs. They're never gonna lay the eggs. The mod for them doesn't seem to work appropriately that way. But I saw a really, really cute picture by the Chester Zoo. Um, I follow like dozens of different zoo Twitters and they had a really cute picture on their Twitter today of a little girl who, I think she's a little girl uh, at least, a little girl Tapir who was recently born at their zoo. She's only four days old in this picture, ta-da! And it's just, oh, I love their colors. I love their stripes. I love the fact that this one's like, yeah, you're talking about how cute we are and I'm just gonna poop here. It's what they do. It's what they do. Are you going to take care of it? She's like, I'm on it. All right, good zookeeper. What is she assigned to? Because she is doing some pretty good like work. All right, she's here, here, and here. So I guess if she is waiting for work, we'll go ahead and preemptively assign her to the aviary as well. Though we haven't added anybody into the aviary yet. But yeah, when I saw that little picture of the little adorable baby Tapir, I was like, I want to have a baby Tapir. So we are going to try to see if we can have the baby born today. I'm not sure how long the Tapir is pregnant for. Does it say their gestation period at all in here? No habitat loss, dense forests and grassy areas of Central and South America and Asia. Wow. I wonder, huh. I wonder when the Tapirs like broke off so that like some of them are in Asia and some of them are in Central and South America and why aren't there any in North America if they're already if they're on like two continent shelves and you've got some in Asia and you've got some in South and Central America why not North America this is very interesting when tapirs are threatened, they flee to the water or in dense underbrush for safety. Their squeal seems to be a means of communication with other members of the family group in the thick foliage of the rainforest. They feed on leaves, fruit, and other vegetation. The tapir is so like the ancestral remains of an animal from the Pliocene ep epoch, epoch? Epic. Uh -huh. I'm going to work on that. That they're that the two are classified in the same genus. The only enemies of the tapirs, in addition to humans, are members of the cat family. All right, good to know. Locals have nicknamed it the mountain cow, but the tapirs' uh, relative. It's actually a relative of the horse and the rhinoceros, and it acts like a freaking dog. I am serious. It was adorable watching a little YouTube video of like a real tapir snuggling with its zookeeper, and it was just like a Labrador. It was like, no, keep petting me. I want some more pets. Well, you know what? We're going to have to name the little tapir family because I'm getting really attached to them, and I did not expect that. So I'm pretty excited for them. All right, how's our little restaurant doing over here? Are you having a good time? Going to look at the discovery kiosk? I should probably put discovery kiosks everywhere. Oh, that reminds me. Um, how are we doing? Oh, I still need to do this. We're gonna work on the challenge in a little bit. We'll, we'll catch up with that. Um, but what I really wanna check is how we are doing in what I personally think is the biggest, hardest goal to shoot for when you are doing Zoo Tycoon 2 zoos, which is getting the educational okay this is the entertainment donation achievement award we're almost there and i love the face painting kiosk too so that's a good thing but we really want the educational donation achievement award and that's really hard to get look how far down we are on this so i think we're just going to start adding more of why are you unhappy sir 
Going to send out a- why are you not educated? You- uh, entertain! You've got an entertainer right here. I think we need- <gasps> we need more music on this side of the- the place. So, yeah, we're gonna also start sticking these little, um, these little, like, kiosks everywhere so that they kind of educate people. I guess you can go up and just, like, watch a little video. I kind of want to rebuild these in our Zoo Crafting series for Minecraft, only make it, like, maybe a picture. So you can go up to a kiosk and just like look at a bunch of pictures or maybe flip through some books that are available there. Or maybe it could be a picture, but it could be an NPC and you could like interact with it and talk to it. Okay, enough about like Minecraft. It's just I get excited about these things. And a red panda is giving birth. So let's go ahead and watch that really quickly. At least if I can get through the bamboo. <gasps> More Chinese orchids. They're adorable. Over here. Is that where, is that where we're, we're having the baby? Is this where the baby is? Hi! Oh, look! All of our red, or like all of our pandas, are giving birth, <gasps> and the flowers today. Oh, that's so cool! So this one also gave birth in the peonies. So we're gonna name this little one Peony. Hmm, Peony. There we go. Is that correct? Yep. E and O. Hello, Peony. Oh, you're a little boy. That's okay. You're still gonna be named um, Peony. So we're just gonna. Uh, we're just, he's, he's, he, he can bear, a flower name is really, it's an honor, no matter what gender you are. So there we go, he can have the little flower name. We've got sleeping little adorable red pandas everywhere. Here's another baby red panda. And since it's just walking around in the ferns, I'm gonna name this one, um, hmm, hmm. We're just gonna name her Fern, which is a name I use a lot, but I want to start naming them more. Oh, look at you! Hanging out in your elevated nest box. But I want to start naming the animals more again. So we can kind of keep up with who's who and what they're doing. So let's see. Um, okay. I think now's a good time to come over. And if orangutans are solitary, we're definitely doing this wrong. So we're just going to go ahead and we are going to adopt out a bunch of our orangutans. And I'm going to try to keep family pairs as like close as possible. But for now, we're just going to come in. We're going to say that, of course... Of course we've studied who gets along with who and who doesn't get along and why is this in the way? Monkey bars, get out of the way. You know, I don't know if I've ever seen them use these monkey bars either. Oh my gosh, and their footprint's huge, so it's hard to like work around them. I guess I'm just gonna have to do it this way. What? Why is a wild horse in a box? I don't understand. Why are you in a box, wild horse? Let's put you over here and release you. Were you trying to jump the fence? It's just a tiny fence, but normally you guys don't care. Um... And then, let's see, let's come down the list. Ooh, our mandarin ducks really need some attention. So we'll give our mandarin ducks attention in a little bit. We have a ton of Asian elephants now, so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Australian green tree frogs, the clouded leopards. I think these two are siblings, so they won't mate. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and we will adopt out the male. Yeah, we'll adopt out the male, and then once we're done with the orangutans, we'll go ahead and we will get a... a new male for our clouded leopard so that she can have some babies and keep that exhibit going and now we're going to be jumping around with the orangutans so how many do we have we have a lot of pregnant females we have a lot of males we have even more pregnant females um that's probably the baby of one of the others so yeah we have a lot of males too and i imagine usually in most species this many males in one place they tend to fight um, it depends, because other species, the females are the territorial ones, and the males are the ones who are just really relaxed. But it usually, a good rule of thumb tends to be that the males tend to be more territorial. So we're just going to go ahead. We need some good names for these guys. We used to have Princess, and we used to have, like, uh, Coco, I think, and we had some other, some other males. I'm going to go ahead and adopt out a few of the pregnant females. Oh my gosh! Not too many of them, though, just so we can repopulate. Oh, an orangutan five! I'm going to call her Grandma. Because I'm pretty sure she's like an old grandma. So we're just going to call her grandma. And let's see. Here's an orangutan. And that should be pretty good. And I'm going to say that baby belonged to some of the others. So that, that almost got us up to a million dollars again. And I feel like that really helped out the orangutans. Because there's not nearly as many of them crowding around the place anymore. And I really don't ever see them using these monkey bars. So we're going to try to get them like a different toy of some kind. Because I never do see them use the monkey bars or the other things. So I want them to be able to have fun. I want them to be able to really enjoy. Oh, a tire swing. Yeah. And monkey bars. 
We're gonna research these things. Look, we can give him like the little painting easel. We are gonna redo the orangutan exhibit. I think that is, they're long overdue. We're gonna redo like everything. We're gonna clear up some of the areas. We're gonna make this super interesting for them. Hang in there, guys. You're about to get, you have no idea. Everything's about to get like really awesome in here. I'm just gonna take out some of these things because I think they're more like decorative toys. Yeah, all right, hang in there little ring tings. I need to make sure I don't take out your fence while I'm doing this. <laughs> and then is this woman, this woman's like dying of thirst. What are you doing? Do I need like a little, I guess we'll go ahead and I'm gonna build a little kiosk over here for her. Like a drink? I guess it would be okay to have like maybe a snack kiosk and a water fountain. Because I don't really need to, like, get all of her money. There's a pineapple seafood stand, but that seems, like, a little bit heavy. Is there just, like, a salad? Yeah, let's just do, like, a little salad food stand. Right here. I hope they sell fruit salad. And then maybe a water fountain? A drinking fountain? I need to find... I think I have some drinking fountains around here somewhere. I don't know, though. So let's go ahead and see if we can find one. And also... Oh, yep, 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 yep. I see sand cat drinking fountain. So I should be close to the others. Aha! A normal drinking fountain. Okay, so we'll go ahead. This poor woman is like dying over here. And we'll put a drinking fountain right there. And then I'm going to need a trash can over here too. So people won't mess up the area. And hopefully that will make her pretty happy. I kind of want to clear this area out and put the plants here. And this is just while we're waiting for the orangutan's toys to to kind of clip in. Oh, there we go. The tire swing research is already done. All right. Oh, and actually I want to do, yeah, the little peonies. Let's bring some peonies over here. Boom. Wow, she's so excited to be with the orangutan's that I think the poor woman is going to like die of hunger and thirst in the corner there. I might have to physically move her and be like, ma'am, I think you need a drink, have a coupon. <laughs> Have a coupon for our shop. Yeah, and a large jungle pine. Ooh, maybe I need one of the smaller ones, actually, don't I? All right, well, let's go ahead. We're going to jump in here. And we're going to really quickly redo the orangutan exhibit because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's really big, but it's just always been, like, it was one of our early exhibits, too. It definitely could use some improvements. I'm going to be really happy for the orangutans. If we can just get this all taken care of, is it all? flattened really oh it is <laughs> I am still uh, thinking about when it was like a giant hill so all right this is already all flattened all right let's come through gonna remove a few hanging vines um and then what kind of eh, what kind of little there we go tropical rainforest biome is what they prefer so I think I'm gonna mix this up a little bit I want more dirt in places tropical Scrubland, do do do, do 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 do, tropical, dry forest, tropical rainforest. That's gonna be this thing. It's too much. It's too much. I just need, I just need like little, little patches of it. <laughs> uh, so much dirt, so much dirt. And then if you do a really small brush and you just kind of gently like peck, 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 it looks a little bit nicer, in my opinion. The colors are all really smushing everything. Like, they don't really match right now, so I'll work on that. Like, move all these little guys out. Because they aren't really matching with anything. Alright, we'll kind of open this up a little bit. Take you out. Take these ferns out. Um, Montaigne? Montaigne? Open woodlands? The thing is, like, things look so much nicer when you have just, like, a few teeny touches of some of the other biomes too so it, don't be afraid to mix them with the mods that I have my animals are not going to mind if we have like a different kind of biome there we go if we have a different kind of biome kind of sneaking in in a few places because in I think in the base game and I haven't played the base game in so long without mods that I don't know if this is true or not but sometimes if you have like a little tiny dot of like a different biome that they're not from, then the animals will complain about it. But personally, I think it looks a lot nicer when you kind of mix together 
and mix together some of the, the pieces like that. And it still looks really weird, but hang in there, we'll get there. Let's go ahead and we're gonna put in their, their things to play with first. So that's our first goal. All right, Borneo orangutan, let's do this quickly. We got this. All right, tire swing, woo! Oh my gosh, yes, the tire swing looks so cool. Doesn't that just look awesome? All right, let's put another one over here. So they've got their fun tire swings. We want some monkey bars up next, right over here where they can kind of see like, woo, monkey bars. And then maybe one right over here. So they can be like right next to their monkey bars. And then we'll put in like some of the little painting easel toys for them to play with. Um, let's see, I need to move some of this monsoon dress in this water dish right there. There we go. So let's see. All right, you know what? I think we might, oh, a monkey tree. Ooh, monkey trees. All right, let's get this started. I think what I might do is I'll continue to decorate just a wee bit of it. And I will meet you guys back here after I just kind of figure out, well, this is kind of one of the funnest parts. All right, we'll do the plant, like the plants. I'll do the plants on my own because I tend to get really into the plants, but we'll get this done. So let's have a little like art corner over here where these ones can enjoy playing with some of the art easels. And we'll give them some sneaky durians so that they can enjoy their, their little snacks there. And I feel like maybe some tires. These are one of those super intelligent creatures that I always am happiest to see surrounded by toys, surrounded by enrichment objects, surrounded by things they can play with, things they can like tear apart, things they can investigate. So we're gonna give them a little bit of everything in here and then like some frozen apples. And let's see, then I'm gonna put in in the corner back here one of those and put over in this corner another one so we can try to give it that tropical atmosphere all right and i'm going to add in the plants and then i will see you guys next time and we will see what our orangutans think of their newly redesigned exhibit so i'll see you guys then Bye bye